hey y'all and welcome to today's video we are going to be playing with the new pat mcgrath palette i'm so very excited i bought this on launch day i'm so happy it's here we are going to swatch the palette we're going to create a look i really just want to play with this i want to do my makeup so that's what we're going to do today and if you are new here hey my name is heather and makeup makes me happy here at my channel we don't try to be perfect we just want to have a good time with our makeup whatever that means shimmer glitter testing new palettes we're here for it so if that sounds good to you i do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today but we do want to play with this shadow so let's jump into it I did order this the day it launched on the Pat McGrath site. I will link it down below in case you want to see it. It looks so beautiful on Pat's site. This is the Mothership Moonlit Seduction palette. So it does come in this beautiful box. I wanted to show you all of her Mothership palettes come in this beautiful, beautiful packaging. Always packaged so, so well. And then... We have the beautiful Pat McGrath packaging and the beautiful palette inside. It has a very nice mirror, but I want to show it to you up close before I dip my fingers in it, before I swatch it, before I touch it, all of that, what it looks like when it's brand new. And this is really, really pretty to me. I like that we have more cool toned mattes. That's how it looked to me. It looked really pretty and I'm like, okay, I'm intrigued. I really like the Pat McGrath eyeshadow formula and it looks like we just have some really, really, really beautiful shades in here. Like I said, I have several of her palettes. I really, really like them. So when I saw the images, I knew I had to have this. Now I am going to pop up swatches for y'all so that you can see how it looks all swatched out. Her palettes swatch so beautifully and they're usually also really, really beautiful on the eyes, but that's what we're going to test today. I just want to create a look. I want to be kind of chill. I want to create something soft, maybe romantic, definitely very sparkly, definitely very pretty. Now, sometimes Pat McGrath stuff comes to Sephora. Sephora does have a lot of Pat McGrath products, but I just checked the site and I don't see this palette there. So I'm not sure if Sephora is going to carry this or if they're not. But like I said, I will link it down below wherever I can find it. Now, I want to play with this. I want to play with this. I'm very excited. I'm very excited about this palette. So I'm going to prime my eyes with my Sigma Eye Primer in the shade Ignite. I'm going to zoom y'all in and we are just going to play with this palette, see how it performs. All right, y'all, my eyes are primed and ready for shadow, but I just want to tell you really quick, I told Jackson he could have a friend over, so my phone is on. If it interrupts us, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but my phone is on because I'm just waiting to hear back, like when I can go pick, pick uh, his friend up, but look at this beauty. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so pretty, like these cool tone mattes. Ooh, I want to play with them. Okay, let's let's start with the matte. Let's start with this one right up here. Looks really pretty, like a, a very cool toned mauve situation. And I kind of want to buff that one all over. So I'm just going to make sure like all sides of my brush are coated. This is a E40 Max from Sigma. Always make sure I don't have any creases in my eye primer. And I'm just going to put this on. Oh, pretty. That's really pretty. Oh. <laughs> I know it's, you're just like, Heather, it's literally a matte mauve shade. Calm down. But it's so nice when you, like, put shadows on and you're like, oh, yeah. It's the same color that it was in the pan. And it's beautiful. All right, that shade blended beautifully, very pigmented. I'm very happy with the way it's looking. Now I'm going to take this double-ended brush from one of the Sigma palettes, and I want to go into this shade down here. So this other matte, and I just want to put it on the lower lash line. Like, I just want to, let me see, I'm like, oh, let me hold up my palette and let me put it there. I'm just going to drag it back and forth under the lower lash line. I don't mind getting a little messy with the lower lash line. Now, I will say this, like these two matte shades, very like on trend for this year. We've seen lots of brands putting out these kind of mauve tones. 
in the like kind of cool toned category so whenever I'm, I'm doing these type of videos I always want to like show you the product show you a look in case you're interested in it but if y'all are on a Nova if you're on a Loba I love when y'all share that with me when you tell me like what you're using instead because we all want to you know we all want to be able to create the makeup looks that we want to create. So I love when y'all share that with me down in the comments. So I would love to know, like, are you just watching, hanging, hanging out with me? Or are you going to try to, like, recreate this look? Did you buy this palette? Or are you going to shop your stash? Definitely let me know. But I'm just blending that. Again, pigmented, very, very easy to blend. Now I'm going to flip the brush over and I want to go into this dark cool toned brown so I'm just going to make sure this side of the brush is coated tap off any excess and what I want to do is just kind of press it right here at my outer corner when I have dark shades like this I really like to start with like a pressing motion press I don't know pressing it in y'all know what I mean and then I will go back and blend it but I kind of like to get that pigment down first so we're just gonna slowly build out like that. I just want like depth in the outer corner before we go in with like all the sparkles on the lid. Okay, now I really wanna go in with this shade right here. This is like a blue brown type of shade, but I really like love those types of shades. I think they're so beautiful. It's one of my favorite like shifts, you know? With shifty shadows, here I am going to spray my brush to kind of minimize fallout and get the most impact. I love trying different brands and I know I see like comments a lot asking me like for dupes and things like that and I will say that's just not my strong suit. <laughs> that's not really the way my, my mind works because sometimes things can be like a color dupe but the formula is so different so to me that makes it so different like it's not comparable and or some things may be like uh the same type of texture or I won't say things are the same formula because obviously you know I'm not I, I don't work for any brand so I don't know their <laughs> exact formulations I can't say the same or not but sometimes things may feel the same but the color may have a different undertone or one may be a, a different finish, you know? So I, I really just like trying different brands, seeing what they do well, seeing how they do things. And I have to say, you know, blue brown shifts, it's just some of my favorite. Like I just, I think it's so beautiful. Every time I see a blue brown shifty product on somebody, I always like, like I always see it. I'm like, wow, that is so gorgeous. And then of course, like every time I use a product like that, I think it's beautiful. Like this one from Pat McGrath. This, this is just so absolutely stunning. But I want to put something else like right here. And then I want to go in with a different inner corner color. So I think for this part of the lid, I want to go in with, oh, what are we going to do? Okay, which one? Okay. All right, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in with this on the lid and then we're going to go in with this one on the inner corner. They're just so, so beautiful. So what I'm going to do, let me see. I'm going to take this Sigma Samantha Ravindole brush. This is the detailed blending brush, the set that Sam did with uh, Sigma. And then the one that I used for the blue brown was an E54. So now I'm going to go right into that gold. Ooh, I've got that picked up. I'm going to spray it because it's really a flaky shadow. You can see I have a little fallout on my face from that blue-brown shade. I don't care. It's fine. I'll sweep it away. If it bothers you, I would say use a glitter glue under these Pat McGrath shadows or some type of super, super tacky eye primer. But for me, I want to get like all this sparkle. So I'm just pressing that shade right there and then I'm going to put it over here too I just think that's oh, it's so pretty I told y'all we were gonna do something very sparkly I'm like I don't know what what we're gonna do but it's gonna have some sparkles so I'm putting that there I'm actually just gonna wipe this brush off I have a 
like a hand towel here in front of me because I want to use this same brush for the inner corner. So I'm going to go into that shade. I'm not going to spray my brush this time. And I'm just going to kind of pack that right here. Look at how beautiful. I'm so into it. Yay. I'm so happy with my purchase. I mean, listen to me. Listen, listen, listen. This is the first time I'm using this palette. This is a first impression. I do own quite a few Pat McGrath palettes, so I do know the formula. I will say like that does make it easier for me to be like, okay, do I like this palette? I can use it. I can swatch it. I can be like, okay, this is the same formula that I know and love. When I'm trying a new brand, of course, it takes way more time because I'm like, okay, I don't know this formula. I don't know how these shades last. I don't know how these shades perform. But I just want to remind you, like, this is my first time using the palette. But I think I'm looking amazing. <laughs> I'm really loving the eye look. So I'm not feeling false lashes today. I'm just going to put on a little bit of liner. I'm going to put on mascara. I'm loving this one from one size. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to kind of get my thoughts together and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. I'm really into it. I feel super beautiful in this look. I feel like it's got some like depth in the outer corner, but it also has a lot of sparkles. I kind of like the cooler tones. I think that's very fun and fresh for right now and kind of what's on trend. But overall, I just, I really feel like pretty and confident in this look and I like that. So I did add the one size mascara and I curled my lashes. I'm wearing the Hourglass foundation again. Still really, really enjoying that. I'm wearing my Sigma matte bronzers. And then for blush, I did use the Pat McGrath Bridgerton blush and highlight palette because I'm still just really, I mean, that's a really good, really, really good blush and highlight palette. Oh, my lips, of course. I'm like, that's it. But no, I'm wearing Pat McGrath products on the lips too. I'm wearing the Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in Contour. I'm wearing the Bridgerton lipstick, these really pretty ones she did in the shade Venetian Peach. And then I'm wearing Divine Rose lip gloss. So that's what I did for the rest of the makeup look. Like I said, I really like this. I think it's super duper beautiful. I would love to know what you think of this palette. Like I said, tell me what you're doing today. I hope whatever it is, you're having a good time. You're having a super awesome day. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really, really helps me when y'all like my videos when you comment let me know what you want to see next I always appreciate that but thanks so much for just being here spending your time with me and I will see you very soon in another video bye